All right, drove the truck back from Wabash. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say right now. One hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred and forty-five, and that was gonna be the last drive ever down the highway for this old girl. It's kind of sad to say that my mom was driving it like it was. Like me and my dad seen it, but nothing seriously happened to it. But uh, get this thing out of here, and I'll show you. What happened to it? It got its good use out of it. Probably gonna Oh barely. Barely got it. Alright. I pulled it on the lift because I was gonna do the starter on it or clean this tartar, but I'll go take it out back and show you guys. <clears throat> and let, let me tell you guys this, the insurance is gonna be taken off of this. The truck still, I drove it down Highway 24, it did great, it bounced, didn't do nothing, still drove great. Yeah, it's... Oh, well, at least I got from 20 October 2022 to March 22nd of 2024, so at least I got some years out of it. And that was the goal. It sounds like the motor's getting a little tick into like a manifold leak. I don't know what it is, but I hear a little tick in it now. My mom didn't wasn't rough on this truck by any part of the means. It's just been getting more rusty. You guys hear that? I don't know if that's a lifter take or if that's. I don't know what that is, but. <coughs> I'll show you guys what happened. So, where's the shot? get to the shock you guys see that shock over there well where it attaches it's hard to see but where the shock attaches completely rotted out so the shock wasn't even holding on so I don't know how long it was like that when my mom drove it but she was driving it like that no nothing seriously happened she wasn't hard on it so, that's why this truck is not getting driven anymore because the frame's gotten worse on both sides. So, that's the end of the road for it, but at least it got used for a whole week. And I was kind of skeptical of my mom even using it because of how rough it is. And I can't believe nothing seriously happened. But yeah, look at the gap there tight gap. And this one, you see that come out like that? It doesn't even go on the latch. I gotta push it in. Well, yeah, I gotta push it in just for the, look at that gap. You know what though, I got my use out of it. My mom got the use out of it when her Jeep was down. But no more F-150. But, yeah, you can hear that tick. I wonder if it's exhaust manifold or something. It's still running good, though. Yeah, but I plan on, when it's time, going to get another F-150 that needs a motor or needs something. I'm going to take the tires off this, take all the brakes off. It's got new brakes on the front and new brakes in the back. Um... Yeah, it's just got, this truck's got a lot of new, a lot of replaced parts on it. It's got a new battery. 
kind of a shame that it's already gone. I thought I could get another little while out of it, but you know what? They make new vehicles every day, and I'm just glad. I'm just glad nothing snapped on my mom. I'm just glad. Oh God, it held up then. Uh, and I was going to drive this like probably all next week and all the rest of this weekend. You can hear it's running good. But this is a good motor. Everybody talks crap about 5.4s, but these ones aren't the bad ones. The three valves are the crap ones. But if you take good care of them, they'll be fine. But I think I'll park it right here. I might park it in front of Old Blue in that Bronco. But probably not right now. I'll just park it out front for now. But there we are, 99 F-150. Is uh, finally DOA. Well, not quite because it still runs and drives, but all the other stuff is, yeah. So, I think that's an exhaust leak starting. But, good Lord. I'm still kind of shocked right now that I seen what I did. But I'm glad I put it on the lift and checked it all out. Um, I'll park it in front of the U-Haul. I'll just park it there. Because it won't be in the way. It'll be out of the way. Nobody else can park there. So, yes. But, when I gave this truck to my mom to drive for a week, she said it did her well. I mean, God, I, I can't believe it. I just, I still can't believe it that it's gone. I, I figured it would be soon, but not this soon. And I didn't think it'd be as bad as it is right now. But, all right. But, let's... And I don't want to sell this thing because I, I'd feel like an idiot listing this thing for sale because I want to use the motor and trans out of this anyway, so. Yeah. Very good running truck still, though. Transmission has been spot on good. And it was a free truck, guys. And the most money I put into it was the back brakes. That's it. That was like almost 180 bucks. For the brakes and stuff for the back we'll leave it right here so yeah the mileage of death is 199,845 but nothing is supposed to be perfect and last forever so not doing anything to it right now but <clears throat> i'll keep you guys updated I'll, I'll still do some starts on it you know to keep it running and stuff but I just won't drive it anymore. But there we go. I'm going to post this video now. And today is March 22nd, I think. 23rd. Of 2024, so. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed.